That Milwaukee pump is so much lighter. Something of that weight is far superior to operate, very user friendly. Your setup times and your takedown times are easily going to be cut in half. The Milwaukee hydraulic pump is easier for storage, easier to get it up into the bucket, easier to maneuver. The pump does everything that a gas-powered pump can do. I did not sacrifice any power. The press are very consistent, it was really fast, and performed amazing. The Milwaukee hydraulic pump's nice because it has the remote, so it frees up one guy's hand so he can help operate the press head. The pump has the green indicator light, which will indicate that you've made the correct grip. It's nice to be able to just put the battery in, press the button, and away you go. It'll do 60 presses on a 1590 conductor throughout the battery life. That's more than enough to complete one side of a tower. This pump for us in the underground, it's very helpful in our trade, especially with the remote. You put it on the cable that we're trying to cut, get out of the manhole and be able to use it safely. The indicator light is a very unique tool to have. Once you know it's cut, it'll turn green. If not, it'll stay red and knows you did not make your final cut. All the Milwaukee tools can do everything we need. All the tools that we use now are Milwaukee. They have a wide variety of tools. They're all useful for power lines. For a 10,000 PSI pump on a 60-ton head, it's got all the power and capabilities you need.